Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So last time, we recruited the Templar veterans in order to break down the barrier so we could take on the Envy Demon, which we did, and we murdered him horribly, because it's what we do. The Demon is dead. Andraste be praised. She shielded you from its touch. We've numbers across Thedas, but we let this happen. Our officers either failed to see it, or were complicit. Yeah, you guys suck. The Templars are ready to hear what the Inquisition needs of us. Uh, I don't really know what it takes. So let's go with you know what you need to do, because frankly, I don't. That's our enemy. The breach can't be overcome with words. Hope won't make it disappear. If Templars still stand against ruinous magic, this is the moment to fulfill your pledge. You speak truths we should never have ignored. But the Order is leaderless, gutted by betrayal. We must rebuild it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we get the choice to whether to make them yield and serve us, or you can rebuild and be our partners. Now, one of those is clearly more of a dickish option. So yes, yield and serve us. There is no time. If the old order is too broken to stand, then become knights under the Inquisition. Serve us. Stop the breach, and begin again without stain on your honor. That is our offer. Bow before me! If it is the only way, Templars, will we serve the Inquisition to atone for our failure? You damn well better. Yeah. So be it. The Order will disband and take up the Inquisition's banner. We'll need weapons, training grounds, a place to rest. The Inquisition must prepare for our arrival. Hey man, I'm the leader, don't tell me what to do. Eh, we're expecting company anyway. Oh, don't worry. I think we're expecting company. Okay, so we've recruited the Templars and apparently forced them to join the Inquisition, because what I said about ruling the world with an iron fist, that was not a joke. We're gonna do it, goddammit, we're gonna be a terrible leader. That's gonna be real goddamn fun. By the way, I'm gonna cut a load screen because it's probably gonna be long as hell. What you found in the captain's quarters means the officers willingly blighted half their knights with red lyrium. Even before some of them realized the Lord Seeker was replaced by a demon. Even so, disbanding the order should have been the Inquisition's decision, not yours alone. Hey, I'm the leader, don't question my authority. And I'm gonna turn it back on him. This was your idea, not mine. You wanted the Templars helping the Inquisition. I delivered them. I would have preferred willing allies, but the Order put their trust in our herald. Surely that's what we wanted. A few dozen veterans are coming ahead of the rest to help seal the breach. How soon until these veterans arrive? They're almost here. Templars don't like to be late. Make her. Wait! I came with you to help. I would have told you before, but you were busy. Yes. Yes, I was. Also, get down from there, what the hell are you doing? Off the war table, Cole. Now. Yes, I don't belong here. I'm not a war. Good point. Call the guards. This creature is not what you... A moment, please, Cassandra. I would like to hear why he came. You help people. You made them safe when they would have died. I want to do that. I can help. Interesting. It looks like we can just straight up kill him. Now, don't get me wrong, that sounds real fun. But also, it sounds like a bad idea. I'm so damn tempted, though. Oh, uh, what kind of help? Why and how would you help the Inquisition? The hole in the sky is too loud for spirits to think. It's pulling, pushing out pain. I want to stop it. How altruistic of you. I want to help. 
I can be hard to see. I can kill things that would hurt people. I won't get in the way. Okay. So as much as I want to kill him just because it would be interesting, if he can be a party member, or at least, you know, an ally, if we kill him, we're not going to hear or see anything he does or says, so it just seems like a bad idea, so yeah. Screw it. He can stay. He's trustworthy. Kind of. Cole saved my life in Theronfall. Achievement gets. I couldn't have defeated Envy without him. But what does he want now? I think he really is trying to help. I won't be in the way. Tiny, no trouble. No notice taken unless you want them to. You're not honestly suggesting we give him run of the camp? Not freely, perhaps. But it seems a waste to... Hold on. Where did he go? <laughs> yeah, he'll do that. It's a good trick. You get used to it. We must see if he can teach it to anyone else. I'll have people watch the boy. But let's not be distracted from the breach. We'll need your help when the Templar veterans arrive. Take time to prepare while you can. I feel like I should know this blonde guy's name by now, and I'm sure I've heard it mentioned, and yet I have no idea what the hell his name is. Same with the, the ginger chick in the robe hoodie thing. I don't know either of their names. If someone wants to tell me, feel free. I could just look it up, but... I'm, again, I'm sure I've heard them mentioned before, but... I straight up can't remember what the hell their names are, and it's a little bit embarrassing. You know, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> you know? I'm like, hi! I work with you! I don't remember your name, though. Kind of reminds me of real life. Yes, I do work with people in real life, and I still don't know their name. Even though I've worked there for five freaking years. But don't tell them. I just pretend I do. Okay, anything so very quickly, I'm going to sell some crap, and yeah, we'll see if there's anything new to buy. I kind of doubt it, though, but yeah. Give me a moment here to dick around the inventories. I also want to see if we can level up on anyone. Or, you know, use a perk point or anything. Uh, apparently we can. Anyway, give me a moment here to do all that shit, and then I'll bring you back in when we're ready to continue. Oh, wait a minute, we can use Cole. Okay, so he is a party member. Good, I'm glad I didn't murder you then. And yeah, he seems to be a rogue. We actually got a really good, yeah, this dagger. We got this dagger from killing uh, the Envy Demon, so I guess we'll chuck it on him, because again, even though Varric's a rogue, you're supposed to just leave him with Bianca. Bianca, whatever the hell you want to call it, his crossbow of death. So yeah, I guess we'll use the actual melee daggers on this guy. That works out kind of nicely. Okay, anyway, yeah, gonna mess around the inventory, sell some stuff. Give me a moment here. Oh yeah, I sold pretty much everything that we're not using and that we can't use in a couple of levels time. I kept all of our valuables because again, I've been told to keep them. I don't know why, but we're holding on to them even though they're over encumbering the crap out of me. Yeah, let's go speak to Cole. I don't know. Master Harriet's hammers are good. Hey, Those are the buddy. Forging tools of an Shut up so I can speak to Cole. I don't want you talking over him at the same time. Thank you. About freaking time. Hi. How's it going? You took in the Templars, but made them yours. They won't make the same mistake. It's dangerous when too many men in the same armor think they're right. You should prepare. It's already getting louder. I see. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell you are. I'm still not certain what you are, exactly. Are you a mage? A demon? I'm different. The elven mage understands me. He isn't afraid. But first, you seal it. I hope it hurts less. I'll help if I can, but I don't always say it right. You better help, otherwise, pow! Right in the kisser. And you're fine as you are. You helped me at the Seeker Fortress. Say it however you like. I helped. It's good to hear. I will try. You damn well better, buddy. Hey, investigate. No. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Joe. Okay, bad timing, I know, but I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. And yes, great, whilst we're here, we may as well talk to Varric as well. What's up, buddy? So, the Templars joined the Inquisition. Even with Cullen here, I never thought that would happen. Of course, after Kirkwall, I never thought anyone would use Red Lyrium on purpose either. The Templars should know better than anyone what that shit does to people. And finding more of it really punches a hole in my red lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. You hear that kids don't do drugs. How long does it take to spread? 
How long does it take for red lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. In the words of Robocop, we need to get the nuke off the street. We can't leave a single piece of that lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? We're gonna P-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta. That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet. Something like a banquet. A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Wait a minute. The world's gonna end? Oh, God. Nobody mentioned that part to me. Okay, very yes, quickly, let's go speak to Bordas. He should be around here. I think they all stand in the same places. I still don't know where the hell Cassandra hangs out. I mean, we found everyone else. She's gonna be around here somewhere. I, I don't know. Hello? So the Templars will put their powers to use, sealing the breach. Any group corrupted by a demon must be watched carefully. At least they know how to fight. I don't know, they kind of sucked. Beggars can't be choosers. We can't afford to be picky about our allies. Point taken. Just remember, an enemy can attack, but only an ally can betray you. Betrayal is always worse. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again with the Templars. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. You know what? You may have a point. We've probably pissed him off. I'm guessing he's gonna be the main villain, and about damn time a main villain showed up, you know? Because right now, we ain't got no one. Okay, very quickly, let's see if we can do any more potion upgrading and or making or anything of the sort. Oh, we can make increase healing one, apparently. And that seems to be about it. Okay. I'm clicking it. Oh, wait, we didn't have the right brute. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete freaking idiot. So we need, like, I don't even know what we need. I wasn't paying attention. But whatever there was, we didn't have it. Okay, let's go back to the war room and carry on. Like I say, I would like to go speak to Cassandra, see what, you know, storyline stuff we can get from her, but... I just don't know where the hell she hangs out. Hey, look at this. Like, I have no idea. Maybe she's in here somewhere. Later, then. I don't really know. I really don't see her. Who the hell are you? What do you want? I've got a message when you have the time. We've got word of some Devinter mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. Mm, okay, now I happen to know Iron Bull can be a party member, so we welcome the help. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. By the way, is it just me or is that soldier clearly a man and clearly voiced by a woman? Like, that is definitely a woman's voice. It's one of those weird situations, you know, it happens in real life sometimes. You see someone and you're like, I don't know if you're a man or a woman. And you don't mean to be rude, but you just genuinely don't know. You're like, I can't tell. I can't really tell for this person, but the voice actress is clearly a woman. So yeah, I, I don't know. She I think it's a dude. The maker. Fire is her water. I don't know I if it Quite so. Okay, let's carry on. Darkness. Is this going to be one of those real long load screens? Usually it ain't that bad when you go in the war room. There we go. All the way my guy just strolls over to the table like a complete badass. Okay, so we can get any new perks. You something about... Cullen? Hell yes. I... yes. Haven has limited space for our soldiers to train. Perhaps we could set up something over here. Cullen! So that's his name. Speaking of Cullen, eh, we can't get anything else right now, apparently. Okay, we are not supposed to be on this side of the map, apparently. Well, all right then. And yeah, in case you didn't see, I just got an extra 15 inventory space. That's a hell of a puck. I'm down with it. Okay, I guess we go over here. Let's do this shit.
Join forces with your new allies to assault the heart of the breach and close it once and for all. We're not the right level, but whatever. The elite of the Templars are ready, Herald. Be certain you are prepared for the assault on the breach. We cannot know how you will be affected. I'm prepared, kind of. Again, it says recommended level 9 to 11. I think we're like 6 or 7. So we're quite a bit below that. So we may be going to our doom here. This may completely fuck me over. But screw it, we gotta try it anyway. Because I'm too lazy to go running around leveling up again. Okay, so. Looks like we can select coal now. So here is the question. I think we get rid of board ass for now. Soul ass is okay. But I value Varric and Cassandra way more. So yeah, screw it for now. I'm gonna go with that. Plus, they're both rogues anyway. There we go. Templars! Focus past the Herald. Let his will draw from you. Or maybe you shall. You did it. Yeah. Suck on that world. I am awesome. And we even got an achievement. Oh great, probably another long load screen. I'll cut it out again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we in the Shire now? Solus confirms the heavens are scarred by the calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. Well, it's about damn time. It wasn't me. It was the Mark. Don't they know I fell into this? Almost literally. Perhaps you're too close to judge. We needed you. We still do. We've yet to discover how the breach came to be, and that is only the most conspicuous of our troubles. Strange days, and more to come. Forces approaching! To arms! What the...? We must get to the gates! Well, there'll probably be that, uh, you know, Red Lyrium fella that we pissed They're off. They're afraid. Something's coming. You don't say. Okay, so here's the question. Eh, screw it, carry on for now. I knew it was too easy. Always something. You're important. Don't Here I think. come to save the day! Cullen? One watch guard reporting. It's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None? <gasps> They're pirates! If someone could open this, I'd appreciate it! Freddie Mercury? Ah, I'm here to warn you. Fashionably late, I'm afraid. 
Oh, you're the token English twin. Might exhausted. Don't mind me. My name is Dorian Parvis, and I bring grave news from Redcliffe. An army of rebel majors right behind me. They are under the command of the Venatori, in service to something called the Elder One. The woman is Calpurnia. She commands the Venatori. For that, the Elder One. Whoa. You're weird looking. They were already marching on Haven. I risked my life to get here first. Cullen, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Soldiers, gather the villagers. Fortify and watch for advanced forces. Inquisition, with the Herald. For your lives, for all of us. I get it. It's 300. That's Xerxes. Which makes me King Leonidas. Madness. Thus, us. Sparta. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Inquisition.